Today, we are going to go over how to turn on developer mode so that we can create a checklist in Microsoft Word. Checklists are a lifesaver for me because I work on multiple projects which are in various stages. Having a digital checklist allows me to pull up the document and quickly see what's going on. Here are some tasks that would be part of my standard video creation checklist. What I want to do is have checkboxes next to each of these items so that I can put a little tick mark next to them as soon as I have completed that task. The first thing that you need to do is to enable developer mode for Microsoft Word. So let's navigate up to the top of the screen and look at the ribbon. Notice that I am on the Home tab and in the Paragraph section, you can right click with your mouse and select Customize the Ribbon. You will see this floating dialog box and under the Customize Ribbon section on the right hand side, you see that everything is selected except Draw and Developer. All I need to do is put a check mark in the Developer box and click OK. At the top of the screen, we now have a Developer tab in the ribbon to the left of the Help tab. Select the Developer tab and you will see that there are a lot of options that are now available. The one we want is in the Controls section. If we hover over the icon for the box with the little green check mark in it, you will see that it is called a check box content control. This is the one that we need for this project. First, you need to put your cursor in front of the item where you would like your check box to appear. And then you will go to the control section and select check box. Unfortunately, you can't simply highlight a whole bunch of text and put multiple check boxes in all at once. If you do, you will get an error message that says check box controls cannot be inserted around multiple paragraphs. So I'm going to use some editing magic here and I am going to quickly insert check boxes next to the rest of the items on this list. Now that the check boxes are in place, you can see that it places an X next to each item, but what I really wanted was a check mark. I'm going to place my cursor in front of the first check box that I would like to change. Then I'm going to navigate up to the ribbon and from the developer tab select properties. The content control properties pane will appear and towards the bottom you have your check symbol default, which you can then change. The one that I want is in the Wingding set, which I happen to have already selected. And then if you scroll down, you can see the different choices. And the check mark is towards the bottom. I'm going to choose this check mark within the box. And then click OK. And then click OK again to accept the change. Now, unfortunately, this only changes one box at a time. So if you want all of your boxes to look like this instead of an X, then what you can do is you can copy the box by hitting Control C on your keyboard, select the Control box, and then click Control V. The one thing that can be tricky is making sure that you are selecting the box so that you can change its properties by clicking on the three little dots around the faint outline. And then you can paste in the properties for the rest of the items on the checklist. If you're creating a new item at the bottom, you can hit Control V to get your checkbox and then enter your new item on the list. If you have found this video helpful, please consider subscribing or giving it a like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.